Hi guys, welcome back to a, another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Kaylee. I am just getting ready to go to a workout class. Yeah, I have not been to a workout class in so long. Like, if you guys are new to my channel, I literally work out at home all the time. Like, I'm just like a big at home workout girl. Since like COVID, I just like have been really enjoying it. But I was like, you know what? Like, I miss the social atmosphere and I miss like, yeah, just like being with my friends and like working out with them and all that. So I texted my best friend last night and I was like, I want to do the workout class that you were mentioning on the weekend. She does like workouts with her personal trainer every Monday, Wednesday. So she was able to get me in for the personal training class this morning. So I'm very excited about that. So I'm going to test it out, see if I like it. And then if I like it, I will do it on a weekly basis. I feel like I'll only do like workout classes like once a week just because... It gets me out of the house and all that like gets me in the social atmosphere if you guys didn't know i have a podcast and like i, re I recently touched on this in the podcast that my goal for october was just to be in more social atmospheres because i feel like working from home is a lot when you're not socializing with anybody and it's been really hard on me so i really want to be able to be in like social environments and just like get out of my comfort zone and just yeah push myself to yeah, be in social atmosphere. So this is the one step that I'm taking right now. So I'm gonna do a workout class this morning. It's a uh, lower body focus. I am wearing this super cute 437 workout set that I just got. I'm wearing like a sports bra underneath and then there's like a long sleeve. It is really cold this morning. So I am gonna be layering up. I just threw on this Aritzia boyfriend cropped hoodie and then I showed you guys, I think my fall coat. So I'm going to wear this. I need to just quickly pack up my gym bag. I also got a new gym bag from 437. They sent me like a bunch of activewear because they just launched um, a bunch of new pieces. If you guys don't know who 437 is, they are a swimwear brand. But lately they've been launching a lot of activewear um, apparel since like the spring. I think and they're, the quality is actually really really good guys like i'm really impressed i've already started to do workouts in these sets and like it's sweat proof all that like not see through at all which is great so the quality is really really good so yeah highly recommend but anyways i'm gonna bring you guys along with me i don't know if i'll film in the class just because it's literally my first class and i'm not gonna whip out the camera because that's a bit much, but I will give you guys a update after the class. But today I'm just gonna take you guys through like a little day in my life. I have some fall shopping that I have to do, some returns, yeah. Hey guys, I just got back from my workout and I'm literally dying. That was such an insane workout but it felt so so good and it was much needed and freddie's like obviously very excited <laughs> to see me since i've been gone um i got a little post-workout smoothie as well while i was there it's a blueberry banana whey protein smoothie i think I know so many people that work there, so it's just like so fun. So the personal trainer is actually like my sister's best friend. So she trained me, so that was really fun. And then like my best friend was there, and then the receptionist and like the girls that makes the smoothies, her boyfriend, or sorry, her fiance works with my boyfriend. So it's just like all like weird connections, which is kind of fun. So like I really needed that like social time. So yeah, it was just like really nice to get out of the house and do that. But anyways, I need to make some breakfast because I haven't had any breakfast yet. But I'm going to finish drinking this and get ready to go shopping because I need to wash my hair. It's hair wash day. So I'm going to wash my hair, put a cute outfit on, and then go to the mall with my sister.
Alrighty, breakfast is done. I didn't do anything special and I'm pretty sure I've done toast in like the past three vlogs that I've filmed. But if I'm not having this, I'm usually having oatmeal, but that smoothie was kind of filling so I didn't want to have um, oatmeal after having that. Plus I had protein powder in the smoothie already. So typically I add protein powder to my oats. So I decided to have toast again and I just put almond butter um banana blueberries and honey and the bread that i typically have is sourdough i know sometimes you guys ask me that on my instagram what kind of bread i use and sourdough is the bread that i love i usually get multi-green um sourdough as well so just gonna eat this and then take a shower hey guys i just finished blow drying my hair doing my makeup getting dressed i just threw on this cute old knit sweater that I got I think in high school like literally so old and then I'm wearing these like aloe track pants I've been liking the monochromatic look like where your sweaters or your tops like match your bottoms I've been really into that and I wanted to show you guys this new handbag that I just got recently I love 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 looking at celebrities um outfits like I use that for inspo when I piece together outfits um, or like I always like screenshot something and then like when I'm figuring out like okay what do I wear today to like go to the mall or whatever like any excuse to like get dressed up I take advantage of so like obviously I'm in a very casual outfit right now like I wouldn't exactly say this is like <laughs> an excuse to dress up but typically I'm like you know what like if I want to throw in a blazer with like jeans whatever like if I'm just like going to get my nails done like I did last week like I will do that like it just all depends on like what type of mood I'm feeling for the occasion. So anyway, so I always like look at like what Hailey Bieber wears, what um, Kendall wears, Bella Hadid, like those three are probably like the main ones that I look at for like outfit inspo or just like other influencers on Instagram um, to get some inspo. And anyways, getting to the point of the story, I saw this brown leather handbag that Hailey Bieber was wearing and I have been looking for like either a dark gray or a brown handbag for fall. I have a huge handbag addiction and shoe addiction. It's like so bad. But anyways, I really didn't wanna get something too expensive just because I've been really focusing on putting my money towards the house because like that is my main priority and there's still like so much to get done in this house. So I really don't wanna like splurge on a bag right now at least, even though I love collecting designer items. but. I saw Hailey Bieber wear this beautiful brown leather bag and I'm like, oh my God, that's so nice. And I saw the price and I was like, oh my God. It was on sale for literally $250 Canadian. And it's stunning, like absolutely stunning. It's like the perfect handbag. Like, I'm so obsessed with it. Like, I think it's so beautiful. And I love how the zipper goes all the way up and it's a double zipper and it reminds me a lot of my YSL um, hobo bag. If you guys have seen it, I wear it all the time and I love that one so much, but because it's like kind of cream, I feel like it's more summery and less like fall and winter. I still think I'll probably wear it just because I love the bag so much, but I wanted something similar to that and I've just been loving like over the shoulder bags. I just find it so practical and I always tend to do that even when I had like cross body bags, like I never, wear them across that's just like not my thing and like even this bag here that i showed in a few videos ago like I, I never wear that across my body like it's always just like one shoulder i don't know that's just like what i prefer so this was such a good find i got it off um essence i want to say that's what it's called i'll link it down below but the price cannot be beat and it's absolutely stunning. It's real leather. It's got so much space too. Like it's a pretty like good size handbag. Like I was looking at a by far bag in gray that I was obsessed with. It's like their mini Soho one, but it's like literally this small. Like I'm not even over exaggerating, like the size of my phone, like, and then strap. So I'm like, I don't know if I would use that that much just cause like you can't really fit much, but like this one, I'm gonna like use it to go shopping right now. Just because like it's a new bag, I might as well. But like I'm gonna, I can show you guys everything that I put in my bag actually. So I got, oh, I got, I don't know if I told you guys this. I got the road skincare stuff came in. Um, if you guys are wondering how I got it to Canada, I you I actually like got a PO 
um, in the States and I shipped it there and then I shipped it back here just because like with my job it made more sense to have that because there's been so many like job opportunities where they don't ship to Canada so I just ship it to my American PO and I ship it from there to my house basically so that's what I did for the road this is my card holder from YSL love a card holder sunglasses I got these ones from Revolve and I absolutely love them. I think they were like $50 too. So always love a good find um, More <laughs> Lip gloss. This is a summer Fridays one. I always put like literally like three lip glosses in my purse Oh, Another lip gloss. This is the Gisu oil and then I feel like I definitely put more in my purse, but this purse doesn't have much lip liner I'm gonna put my phone in. I'm going to the mall with my sister, so I'm just waiting for her to text me to confirm when we're meeting at the mall. But that's everything that's going in my bag, at least for the mall. This is the dust bag that I came into, which is super cute. But yeah, I have to go to Aritzia, exchange something, just cause I ordered a pair of sweatpants and i got a small but i think i should have got a medium just because like certain sweatpants at aritzia i find fit tighter than other styles so i yeah i'm gonna get a medium them in them if they don't have it i'll just get a gift card and then put it towards online but there's a lot of cute stuff at aritzia right now for fall so i really want to check that out i need to go to sephora and pick up a new cleanser because mine ran out what else? I might look at Zara too because I always love looking at Zara for fall inspo as well because they have some like really like trending stuff um, for like half the price instead of like breaking your bank account for things that are literally not even going to last till next fall. So I always like to find like cute trendy items at a good price at Zara. So I'll probably look there as well, but I have some stuff coming in from Revolve this week for fall. So I'm excited to show you guys that. I, I don't know if you guys like the hauls or not. Like, let me know if you guys do or do not. Like, I wanna like expand other brands as well. Like, not just like a Revolve and a Retzia because I feel like that's all I post. But if you guys have any good brands you recommend to shop at, comment down below. I'm always happy to support other brands um, and always love finding like new ones as well. Like, it's always nice to find something. I did actually get a gifting opportunity with this brand. I forget what it's called. It's blanking in my head right now, but I've never heard of them before and their stuff is absolutely stunning. Like I put a few pieces in that I'm going to be getting, I would assume within the next few weeks and I can show you guys what I got from them, but I think it's a small owned business and like the quality looks so good based on the website. Like I haven't seen obviously the stuff in person, but like they have like a lot of good blazers, a lot of basic tees, a lot of trousers, which is like staple items I find in a fall wardrobe and like nice wool coats and all that. So I will definitely share once those come in. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to clean up my house a bit before my sister texts me to go to the mall and then we'll go shopping. You're definitely not 5.5. Look at five. Five is darker. Five is warm. But yeah, but this doesn't look like, this looks more peachy. This is more like our color. See what I mean? Like peach, yellow tone. Peach, yeah, like you know what I mean? Like that's like. What does W mean, Kaylee? Peach or warm? Um, where is to the P? Nowhere. Exactly, <laughs> so what the hell does an O mean? Orange. <laughs> what is Ovi? We're literally trying to look at the Costa concealers and we're fighting about what I personally think that looks Ovi? more peachy than that. Don't know no, what Oh, oh is... olive. So we are olive skin tone. That makes sense. Hey guys, it's been some time. I just got back from the mall not too long ago and thought we could do a little haul. 
of what I got. I did show you guys a few things that I tried on at Zara. Zara was actually really good, guys. Like, I was really shocked to see how many, yeah, good fall pieces they had. So I didn't splurge on too many things just because for some reason I've been very attracted to coats and I have so many coats. Like there's only so many coats you can wear for certain occasions. So my sister was like, you like need to stop buying coats. So I just got one thing that I tried on that I showed you guys in the try on. Hi Freddie, Freddie is so happy that I'm home and he thinks all this new stuff is for him. Cause whenever he sees a bag, he thinks it's a present. <laughs> You're so funny, Freddie. Okay, anyways, this is the best that I got at Zara. So I was gonna buy the Aritzia TNA one and I love vests like in the fall, especially like just when the weather's like weird like this, when it's like kind of cold but hot and you don't want to wear a jacket, but you kind of want something to wear. <laughs> so I was going to get the Aritzia one today. Like that's what like my heart was set on that. And I went to Aritzia, they didn't have my size. And Aritzia is taking a long time to get certain things. Like if you go online and you want to order something, like it's not everything, but majority of the stuff is on like back order. So a lot of the stuff is not available till like the end of October or end of November or even like December, January, like it's crazy. And my size wasn't gonna be available till like the end of November, which I'm like, at that point, I'm not even gonna be wearing a vest. So to me, I was like, there's no point in me getting that. And this one at Zara was literally half the price. And the one at Aritzia has a hood and I always take off a hood on any coat. I don't know why, I just do. So this one literally looks like the TNA one, like identical and it doesn't come with a hood and i got a large because i you guys well you guys know that i love to get anything oversized so typically i get a medium large in like jackets or sweaters and like look how cute it is here i'm gonna show you guys in my mirror okay so this is it with like a knit sweater and i think it looks so cute like I will try and link the code down below because obviously with Zara, it's so hard to find stuff um, online if you search by like just vest. But here, actually, I can show you guys here the code. Let's see if you guys want to search it yourself. So that's the code there where it says 8073252800. 69 bucks. I don't know. I think it's perfect like for the next month or two. And I can wear like a hoodie with it and like be comfortable and like it's still like big enough for me to fit a hoodie. But like this outfit's actually really cute. Like I could literally just wear this out. I might wear this tonight. I was gonna go pumpkin picking with my friends, but for some reason the pumpkin picking like places that you could go do this whole little pumpkin scavenger hunt thing closes at six. And obviously we all have jobs and no one's done till like five or six. So. We are not doing that. So a lot of them are going to this pub, which I might meet up with them later. I don't know if I'm feeling like going out. I kind of like want to focus on like editing YouTube because I'm really behind and I need to edit a video before this one and then this one eventually as well. So I don't know. I'm kind of like down for a chill night. I was obviously like so busy throughout the day and I have a doctor's appointment tonight too. So I'm kind of like, do I want to go after my doctor's appointment? I don't know. We'll see what kind of mood I'm in, but if I go out, I will definitely be wearing this vest because I'm obsessed. Okay, and then the other things I got are not really that exciting, but I got the Ordinary Squalene Cleanser. I love this cleanser. It's so great for people who have dry skin. I have very, very dry skin, and I find that cleanser is the best um, for my face just because um, it's an oil-based. I was using CeraVe, but I felt like it was making my skin even more dry. Um, and there is a hydrating one, but I still didn't like love it. This one is like literally a cream, but it's like oily. So 
highly recommend if you have dry skin to try this out and it's like 20 bucks it's not that expensive and it typically lasts me for a few months which is great so actually i did get something for myself because i am this is the one thing actually i'm excited about so i have my breville coffee espresso machine which i use all the time but i did want to get some virtual pods for zach because zach uses the virtual Nespresso machine for his coffees just because he likes larger coffees. He doesn't like espresso coffee. So anyways, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to get the pumpkin spice cake. I think I tried these last year, but I can't remember because I did have this machine last year and I think I liked them, but I don't remember. So I'm still excited <laughs> because I don't remember what it tastes like. So Hopefully it's good. I'm sure it's good. Everyone says amazing things about this one, but I thought I would get 10 pods of these just because I don't ha typically have an espresso just because I have my espresso machine. But if I'm craving a hot coffee, I typically like to make iced coffees with my Breville just because it's a perfect amount of coffee for an iced coffee. But when I want to have like a normal like latte, like a warm coffee, um, I don't find like there's enough coffee, obviously, because it's an espresso shot. And that's what I miss about the virtual coffee is that you get more coffee from it so i might like do a lot of my warmer drinks with the virtual pods and then whenever i want a nice coffee which is like literally five times a week basically like i i'm very rare to have a normal like latte but who knows like maybe it's just because it's still warm out i might change my mind in the winter that i need to go back to typical coffees i don't know we'll find out but I'm still excited to try this out. So if you guys have an espresso machine, go run because it's only a limited edition for the pumpkin spice pots. But anyways, I think I'm gonna start some dinner because it is getting close to dinner time. I do need to finish editing a video and that typically takes me a long time for TikTok and Instagram Reels. So I might do that and then start making dinner. I think we're gonna have tomato soup, which I'm pretty excited about because you guys know I've been talking about soups way too often. So that's what's up. Okay, Zach just came home from work and I'm very excited because we were making tomato soup with grilled cheese. I made my grilled cheese with sourdough bread and Zach's making his with normal bread. And Freddie, <laughs> your eyes. He is so bad when it comes to human food. Hey, you have your own food. This is literally perfection. Oh my God. I'm so excited to eat this. This is what I was craving. So yummy. So I'm taking pictures of my soup for my Instagram and Zach asks, can you take a picture of mine with it? And I'm like, no, I'm okay. And he's like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I don't need yours for my Instagram because this is how mine looks, as you saw. Stunning, right? <laughs> Zach's looks. Like, I'm sorry, babe, but like, no. No, that's just not it. Hey, guys, it is, I want to say like 7 o'clock right now, and it's literally pitch dark out but i am going to a doctor's appointment um because i have really bad eczema in the colder seasons to the point where it's like so bad that like i'm bleeding and i've tried so many eczema creams and nothing just seems to work so i'm going to the doctors <laughs> at seven o'clock at night because i guess my doctor is only accepting um like walk-in appointments at night for some reason this week so anyways um i'm typically busy during the day anyways so it kind of like worked out having a night appointment and i just like want to get prescribed cream just it's for my hands They're, my hands are just like really bad like i can't even explain it like i wake up in the middle of the night like scratching in like so much freaking pain it's like insane so we're gonna go to the doctors get some cream probably pick it up and then head home Good morning guys it is the next day i decided to make this video a few days in my life instead just because i 
yeah, kind of ended the vlog off yesterday with me going to the doctor's office and that was it. So anyways, I got cream for my eczema. So hopefully that helps, but it's around 11 o'clock right now. I just did my makeup, finished breakfast, all that, but I wanted to make a green juice this morning. So that is what I'm currently doing at the moment. If you guys haven't seen how I make my green juices, I have been using a blender and a nut milk bag to strain some of the pulp out. And what I've been doing is I've been keeping a little bit of the pulp, that way I'm getting some nutrients in it. Um, I still keep like going back and forth if I wanna like invest in a good juicer. I have one, it's just like a lot to clean and everything, like a blender is so much easier to clean versus the big juicer. So I've been trying to like find something that's easy to clean, small, like, yeah, not too big. So anyways, comment down below if you guys recommend any good juicers, but I'll show you guys everything that I'm putting in this juice currently. So basically I cut up some ginger, some apple, some cucumber, some lemon, and then I'm gonna put spinach as well as coconut water. I typically put kale instead of spinach, but I don't have any, so I'm just working with what I got. And I'm gonna add some coconut water just cause with the blender I find it harder to juice without any liquid, if that makes sense. So I always like to add a bit of coconut water to make it easier to blend. And I also use, usually add basil, but I also don't have basil. So we are working with what we got, but hopefully it's yummy. So that is what I'm doing currently for the day. I have to edit a YouTube video that needs to come up tomorrow. I might do some running around today. We'll see, I'm not sure. <laughs> Does anyone else always have three liquids on them at all times? <laughs> like this is literally my case scenario all the time. It may not be the same three drinks, but I always have three liquids like all the time. So anyways, made my green juice. If you guys want to get into juicing, this is such an easy recipe and it's pretty sweet. Like my sister doesn't really like um, green juices, but she does like this recipe. So. I'll make sure to leave the ingredients underneath, the, uh, well, in the description, sorry, but it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And then my coffee is with oat milk and a little bit of vanilla creamer with my um, espresso machine. And then I just made a lemon water as well. But anyways, I'm gonna get some work done, drink all these liquids and then, yeah, turn the camera back on in a bit. Hey guys, it's been a while. I was like the worst vlogger ever today. I got caught up with like a lot of work and I just kind of got really busy and really out of hand. And then um, I made dinner with Zach, just cleaned up after dinner. And now I'm editing the YouTube video that's going up before this one. So it's gonna be like a little fall day in my life and just kind of like resetting and getting like fall decor in the house and all that and I just did another fall little decoration here in the house that I'm going to show you I just picked up these like little baby pumpkins at the grocery store and I just thought they were the cutest thing and I thought I could just put them like in a bowl just to like put on my sideboard so this is how it turned out like how cute I love the little white ones I didn't even know they had that so yeah, they just like a little variety pack at um, the grocery store that I go to. So I just thought that was super cute. And these prints here, I think I've showed you guys in a video before, but I can't remember. But we have to build a frame around them before we actually hang them. These are what the prints look like when they're bigger. Oh, thank you, Zach, for turning on the light. But yeah, so those two will be hung. But yeah. But anyways, I'm gonna get some editing done because I need to do that. So I'm gonna end this video off here. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching another video. If you're new, definitely make sure to subscribe. I post a video every week. And I love you guys. Bye.